this short video, <clears throat> I'd like to demonstrate a method for using the block editor to create visibility states to help control individual toggles for a particular instance of a block. So I've got a block here, and the block is on the zero layer, but is actually comprised of an object layer for the outer perimeter and a green circle. And what I want to do is create a blue state, a green state, and then a fade out state so it can be visualized a few different ways in a given layout. So to do that I'm going to go ahead and click on this block and type in BE, that's for block editor. Go ahead and bring up block editor and by selecting it first highlights it in the list for you. That's very helpful if you've got a long list of blocks. And then inside of my AutoCAD here we've got the <clears throat> the authoring palette and so what I want to do is I want to create a visibility state and you want to position this visibility state wherever it would be helpful for uh, modifying that block. So I'll just throw it a little bit to the left and there's really not a whole lot to visibility states. What it does give you though is the ability to toggle up here and depending on the different visibility states you can um, <clears throat> set them to be different uh, objects are available, visible, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three visibility states. I'm going to create this first one. I'm going to call it green. And obviously you give these intelligent names. Whoops. Get the new one. I'm going to call this one blue. And then I'm going to create a new one called fade or faded. Awesome. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to utilize a line here for the faded and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of the shape up here and so this will be my version for the faded and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch both of these to the fade layer so now these are both on the fade layer and then what I want to do is I'm going to set this one to be invisible so or uh, yeah so I'm going to set this one to be invisible so on the faded option I'm going to turn this one off. So then I can move this back down here to that corner and now we'll have one on top of the other. And so you can toggle those objects even though they're off. You can still toggle them just to kind of see what's going on. So we've got one block here now or one object and the other one's turned off. So now if we go to the green, this was kind of the original state. If I just test that out, select these two, not doing any kind of window selection, there's nothing really there. So that's what I want there. So then I'm going to go to the blue. And what I want to do here is I want to just simply create a copy of this shape, move it over there turn this one blue, make this one invisible, and then move it back. There, so now what we've got is we've got green, we've got blue, and then we've got faded. Oh, and then I don't actually need this line anymore. So I'll just straight up get rid of that. And there we have it. So that's how you set these conditions up. I'm just double checking everything. Very extra paranoid today. Um, you can choose to rename this visibility state if you want in the properties, if that's helpful to you. But since I only have the one, it's not really required. So then I'm going to go ahead and, oh, actually, what you should try to do before you save it is you do a test block. And in my test block, I can click it try the different visibility states. Looks good. And looks great. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to close my test block. I'm going to close the block editor. Definitely save the changes. And what's nice about this is that on an individual by individual basis now, we can set these to be different states. So that's just a quick video on how to use visibility states to 
control even just the visualization of the object uh, for just different scenarios like if I wanted to show variations of my product a fade out version to show it's there but maybe it's not needing to be counted or something like that so hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions let me know otherwise have a blessed day